there are many programs that you can choose from to paint directly on your 3D model. Choose one that works best for you. For this tutorial, I'm using Madbox. First, I collapse UV modifier. Second, I need to divide my character to more manageable parts. This will give me better access to areas that are hidden right now. Select elements or polygons that you want to separate and click the touch button under Edit the Geometry menu. Make sure that Preserve UVs option is selected before you start the process. Keep symmetrical parts together so you can paint them both at the same time in Matbox with the help of Mirror option. Keep cutting and detaching. Each part will generate separate texture. Please remember that later you will combine all the texture together in Photoshop or any program of your choice. Don't rush, think twice and cut once. Please remember that preparation may not be as exciting as painting is, but it's very important if you want to achieve proper final result. After you finish cutting, select whole character and export it as FBX or OPJ format. When you're choosing OPJ, specify present to Matbox. If you don't see any errors, you can open Matbox. Matbox is like a mixture of 3D Studio Max, Maya and Photoshop. So click open and choose the file format, OBJ or FBX. I go with OBJ. First, you need to learn how to navigate. To pan, use Alt, middle button and drag. To zoom, use Alt, right click and drag. To rotate, use Alt, left click and drag. Matbox can be used for painting and for sculpting. Make sure that you select painting layer. We will paint this time. Right click over chosen mesh to isolate and then right click again to apply new material. This prevents paint from coloring other segments of the character mesh. Next add new layer, name it, choose map size, file format and map type. As you can see you have plenty options to choose from. Before you start painting, learn two more short keys. One is for brush size and second is for brush strength. B left click and drag for size and M left click and drag for strength. Color palettes creation, mixing option and color picking very similar to existing graphic programs such as Photoshop. You can also choose colors from image, so you can drag the image or load the image. You can also save it to your palette and access when you need it. Next useful tool that I need to mention is Temp. Each time you click or drag on the model, the image will appear on the model. If you like, you can create your own custom stamps and load them to Matbox. Remember to turn it off when you finish using it. Next to the stamp you can find stencil tool that is used in sculpting and painting. You can scale, rotate and move stencil as you work on your character. Remember to turn it off when you finish using it, otherwise it will affect other tools. Next, let's take a closer look at layers. The paint layers window lets you create and organize layers of the texture information. For example, diffuse, color, spectacular, bump, reflection and so and so. As you paint on your 3D model. You can clearly see that paint layers in Matbox look, behave and have the same function as those in Photoshop. So you can create, delete, move and apply blend modes as well as change opacity and apply masks. You can also move layers around. Fall off controls the profile of the paint tool. Matbox has pre-made material section similar to one in 3D Studio Max. Next to material present you can find light presence. Useful if you need quick character preview under different light conditions. Let's go back to the paint tools and go over projection tool. Projection is used together with stencil 
to load color images into 3D view as stencil, so you can project them directly on your character. If you have symmetrical model and you want to paint it on both sides at the same time, use mirror mode. Mirror mode works with other painting and sculpting tools. Eyedropper can select color from anywhere in 3D view. Airbrush applies paint with much less opacity than paintbrush. As in Photoshop, pencil will give you sharper and cleaner line. Next you see eraser and then clone tool. Hold Ctrl key to sample. Next is dry brush that works well only on sculpt surfaces. Blur softens painted details on the texture, Dutch tool lightens the area, and Burn tool darkens the area of the texture map. Contrast increases or decreases lightness or darkness, punch saturation. Hue replaces one color with another, and Hue shift modifies it. Last tool inverts colors, for example black to white, red to green. Before I start painting actual textures, I need to apply new material and new start layer for each part of my character. This will prevent accidental painting on the hidden parts and give me more flexibility when I edit and combine all the textures later in Photoshop. Also, each character part is easily accessible and I do not need to worry about painting straight lines between body parts that are clearly divided by clothes, hair or accessories. This is my preferred approach for preparing a character to be painted in Matbox. If you have better one, please use it. In next tutorial, I will paint textures and transfer them to 3D Studio Max. Thank you and good luck.